Live from Coleman, Alabama, Premier Bank presents Wake Up Coleman. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jacob Murphy. I'm Natalie Bonner. And again, welcome to another exciting episode of Wake Up Coleman. So, it is now Wednesday morning. How are you? It's great. It's a wonderful Wednesday, right? It, it is wonderful Wednesday. <laughs> Slogan. No, um, Slogan. Sl trademark. Brought to you by now. Uh, no, but I'm, I'm excited to be here. Uh, had a good night. Lots of, lots of sleep, finally. For once. Well, that's good. What did you do? Slept. <laughs> lots, lots of sleep being because I slept. Well, good. Yeah, no, not really. I probably had a lot of stuff I could have been doing. What about you? Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I, uh, I had a great yesterday, Tuesday. Um, wasn't Monday, so I'm happy. But I did watch a really interesting show. It's called Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt on Netflix. And it's another Netflix original series, and it's pretty funny. Hmm. Yeah. I'm afraid to ask. It's uh, Tina Fey is one of the creators, so. Well, there we go. It has that little comedic, funny, you know, kind of. Vibe to it. Yeah. So, it was hey, good. I'm okay with comedy. If you can't tell, I'm a humorist. <laughs> you are a humorist. Right. Well, have you uh, read the front page of the Coleman Times today? I have, and uh, it's interesting. It is interesting. It's one of those things that you just look at, and you, I guess, you either accept it or you don't, mm -hmm. and you just kind of take it for what it's worth. Now, if you're not sure what he's talking about, he's talking about a 3% raise given to the county employees. Exactly. Uh, due to an 8% sales tax that has been brought to us over the course of the last year and a half, uh, the county commissioners and a few of the other Coleman City employees have just voted on and passed the ability to increase their pay by uh -huh. 3%. Uh, now, this is a very interesting move, especially with the budgets the way that they have been, mm -hmm. but they have deemed it necessary, so they have passed it through and again it was voted on and officially uh, set in motion to be enacted within the next few months. Right and you know we still have quite a few hot topic issues that haven't um, exactly been resolved yet. For example moving from the um, the current system of three of a three county commission to five. So having you know those um, four part-time county commissioners with one full-time chairman. So that's still a, a potential possibility, perhaps. We'll see, but um, some, some different, you know, some different things on the horizon. Absolutely. Uh, again, you know, you just have to sort of accept this decision for what it was. Yeah. And uh, kind of just move forward with it. Uh, I can only hope that they had the best intentions in that, and we'll just take it and smile and pat them on the back and tell them it's good to see them and move on. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, you know, every day we like to talk about the various things that we give to you guys, and we really do appreciate all of you who watch the show, uh, and our sponsors do too. We're, we're all just one group and community of people who appreciate everything that you've done for us by watching the show, and we like to reward you guys for watching the show by offering you guys the chance to win some great prizes. So let's take a ch uh, look at what those prizes are today. These prizes really are incredible too. I mean, just awesome. Oh, absolutely. I absolutely love giving these things away. Uh, again, we have one sausage biscuit from Bojangles here in Coleman. And a free bag of apples. Uh, it's a variety bag of over 20 different types of apples from Steel Orchard. And the free family barbecue pack from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, which is the pound of meat, the two 16 ounce sides, and the four buns. So check out our Facebook page, figure out who our sponsor of the day is, and then call us at 256-734-7399. Again, that's 256-734-7399. Make sure you call us, let us know who that sponsor of the day is, and you can win those great prizes because you don't want to miss out on those. And you know, we always uh, love the Fest Hall Farmers Market, and if you guys have not been out there, we still have a few days left. We've got Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays that they are open from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., and they've still got a few weeks left on their rotation, so go out there to check out some tomatoes, cucumbers, squash, peaches, honey, and more from local vendors. Absolutely. got to love that fresh produce. That's Gotta awesome. It. So it's always good to see that, uh, and again, I say this a lot, but the community coming together to make something yeah. like the Fest Hall, and then you have all these local vendors that are just getting stuff out there. It's great. You've got local artists. You've got candle makers. You've got people who make soap. I mean, it's more than just vegetables. There's a ton of great options for you. Uh, you, you don't want to miss out. It's, it's a great program. Definitely, it is. Uh, we we are just huge fans of the Fest Hall Farmers Market, um, so we can't say enough great things about them. And so, you know, we do have a few weeks left. I definitely plan to go out there and get some fresh produce. What about you? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I've always been a big uh, 
cucumber and pickle guy. So if anybody has any fresh homemade pickles, I'm all for it. Really? I've never had a homemade pickle. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, sometimes you can get them and they're really spicy. What do you think of um, like canning? What do you... I, I personally am terrible at it, uh, but I've also been very uncrafty most of my life. So people who do it, I have ultimate respect for you. Uh, I've seen the benefits of it. I've seen people can stuff that's like 50 years old and we can still eat it. And it's still just really? as fresh as the day you put it away. Yeah, because it's airtight and it's bacteria That's awesome. Free. Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah any, anyone and everyone who does that, it's a wonderful talent to have. I know it's very time consuming uh, and you have to be very careful with it. But it's a, it's a talent, I guess, worth having for some people, uh, especially yeah. when, you know, emergencies happen and you're there to <coughs> the food. <so. laughs> yes, well. Let's not uh, be a doomsday prepper here. Yeah, no, not, not personally. <laughs> uh, we do have an awesome guest today. We do, actually, uh, yeah. It's Mr. Bob, and I apologize, Palace. Palace, Mr. Palace. Bob Palace. He, um, he actually works, owns uh, the Awards Palace here in town. Um, so he is also with the Kiwanis Club. So we will be right back with him to discuss some community happenings with the Kiwanis Club. Absolutely, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Fire, accident, storm. They all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Welcome back, everybody, and we have Mr. Bob Palace here with us today. He's with the Kiwanis Club, and we are so excited to have you here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Sir. All righty. So, you know, why don't you tell us a little bit about you today, sir? How long have you been in the Coleman area? Oh, I moved here in, in 1966, oh. and uh, after one semester here, I told my dad, I was, I was born in Buffalo, New York, I told my dad that uh, uh, I'm not coming home, I'm living in Alabama. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, uh, wow! Buffalo, New York to Coleman, Alabama. I trade I trade blizzards and a lot of snow for a few tornadoes. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, for a few tornadoes, definitely. So, some might question your trade-off there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no it's, a, it's a very smart move. Yes, sir. Now, I, you know, you've been in the Coleman area for a long time. How did you get involved with the Kiwanis? Club? <coughs> oh, through through Key Club. Uh, it's a high school service organization. Um, I'm still I'm still with the. Uh, uh, advisor for the High Upon Club and on the state board. And it's just a remarkable organization of young uh, adults who, I mean, I always say you know, that they are naive enough to believe they can make a difference. Well, <laughs> they do, and they do. I've, I've seen it so many times. Now, is, uh, I'm, I used to be the president of the Leo Club in my high school. Yeah. Now, is Leo Club, Key Club, Kiwanis Club all similar in nature? Well, they're, 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 yes, okay. you know, the Liz, the Lies, and Kiko's with Kiwanis, but it's, it's basically the same family, you know, uh, service, learn leadership, uh, <coughs> and you make a difference in your community. Yeah, just a service-oriented community club. Right, right. Okay, very nice. Were you 
involved in anything like that? I did not have the opportunity to in high school. I was ROTC, so oh, I was okay. I was uh -huh. out doing that a lot. So. Wow, definitely. Well, thank you for serving there. Oh, yeah. thanks. <laughs> don't don't thank me yet, sir. I haven't really done much. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, that's exciting. So, um, does the Kiwanis Club have different things coming up, different events or activities that people can be a part of? Oh, oh yes, yes, ma'am. I mean, coming up, we have our, our, our walk and run. We have a, a dog show, a oh, wow. big, big dog show. Very, uh, very I big read dog about show. that. I'm quite excited about and then it. We have, you know, then we have media day, and we have uh, pancake day, and uh, we try, uh, which we, you know, we work for common caring for kids and knapsack. Uh, 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 project. Uh, we try to stay busy. Okay. Our nice. trouble, our job. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, can you tell us a little more about this dog show coming up? It's really cool. I think it's called um, Kiwanis Canines for a Cause. Yes. I mean, it's it's going to be uh, part of uh, Oktoberfest. Okay. And it's going to be an all day event on October the 10th uh, at uh, Depot Park. And I mean, uh, they, uh, I, I, this will probably rival the Westminster show. Oh, <laughs> wow. that would be awesome. In, in New York, yes. Very nice. Um, now, where can people go to kind of find out those, uh, those, you know, different details? I know there's quite a lot to the show that you can either, um, you can pay a small fee to be a part of this one, or right. you can pay an overall fee. Where can they find uh, out more information well, about those? Um, Melissa Henderson works at, works at uh, she's investment uh, vice president at Merchants Bank. Okay. And she's a chair. She's got forms, and this forms all we're calling. Oh, great. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Um, I, I also have information, um, you know, at the chamber. We, we right. have some information right. there as well. So you guys can call uh, yeah, you know, any Colonel, of those. Colonel, Colonel Cumm, uh, yeah. Museum has information. Is that Cumming County Museum? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can call any of those places for information. Right. And uh, do you all expect a large turnout? We hope to. Uh, we, 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 we do. Uh, uh, it's going to start at 9 a.m. and conclude at 3 uh, p.m. <coughs> and uh, we, we should see quite a few different types of dogs. So, uh, the highlight, of course, is the annual weenie dog race. Oh, boy. Yeah. For dog hunts, and, and that's always fun. Small arms flailing <laughs> at about 60 miles an hour. Uh, they, they're moving a mile, 100 miles an hour. And not go, their legs are so small, they can't. You can't go very, go very fast. Though. No, <laughs> I actually wrote an article on that weenie dog race, and I called it the fastest and the furriest, <laughs> instead of the fastest. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> that's, 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 that's very funny. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> now you, this is not the first year that this dog show has happened. Have you always had a good turnout? For uh, this, no, this is the first year the Quan has become a oh, okay. well, They've had a show for for two or three years, but it's kind of gone by the wayside. And uh, they weren't going to really have one, and uh, we picked it up, and we're, 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 we've been working hard on it. I think it's really going to have a great turnout because, like you said in the past, it used to just be a little fun weenie dog race, but now it's oh, like now, yeah, now it's just got obedience so many different, courses, and, yeah. I mean, and plus there's, there's going to be an education on how to groom a dog and uh, how, you know, how to train a dog. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really quite quite involved. It is now for a potential. Sponsors out there. I think you guys have four different categories. Uh, yes, I'm a, a wolf and a bow wow and the, yeah. you know, it's, it's different, uh, you know, different names. And there, there will be vendors there from a, a, you know, quite a few of the pet stores in Coleman. Okay. And uh, but I mean, the admission is free. Yeah. Uh, uh, you probably bring your own lawn chair. It's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a very fun day. It sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. Now, who are some of the judges that are gonna be uh, on the dog show this year? Uh, uh, Melissa's taking care of that. She's a, she's been um, involved with dog shows for a long time, and okay. she's judges coming from Huntsville and, and some local, some from Birmingham. You know that you know, when I see dogs, they it's a, it's a pretty dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're looking for certain Pe things. people who actually have experience in judging dogs. Right, okay, right. Okay. <laughs> so it's not just limited to um, to little weenie dogs. Oh right? no, no, no. I mean, this could be you know, uh, uh, dogs of, of many, many different uh, uh, you know different types from big. You know, Rockweilers and huge, huge dogs uh, to the, you know, the miniature dachshunds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a great family event. To oh, just it is. That's exactly Hang out and watch a bunch mm -hmm. of dogs. Uh, if you're ever looking for a pet, this would be an op awesome opportunity to go out and kind of sample oh, yeah. some of the uh, <laughs> the various kinds that you can get. Yeah, so that's that'd be true. Fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, now, are y'all still taking sponsorships? Oh, yes. Uh, okay. I mean, it's, it's just call Melissa up Merchants Bank and she'll be more than glad to 
Uh, help you out anywhere she can. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Now I've noticed that you've brought a T-shirt. How does somebody go about getting one of those? Uh, this is for the run. Oh, okay. You know, you know, <coughs> on the same day, October 10th, uh, Governor Robert Bentley has proclaimed uh, uh, October 10th as uh, statewide walking and running for Children's Day. I mean, he, he made an official uh, proclamation, which he, which, he, which he gave to us, that uh, you know that uh, shows the event. Uh, we're trying to help out Children's Hospital. Uh, you know, all, all of our proceeds from that will go will go to uh, uh, to Children's Hospital. You know, Coleman's blessed. I just, I just got out of the hospital last night uh, in Coleman. And I could have not asked for any better care, uh, better doctors and you know nurses. They're they were fantastic. But I'm an adult. I'm not a child. And you know, Children's Hospital is the place to be. You know, for a, a, a child who's sick. So uh, uh, statewide, we're going to, right now we're planning to have t races at 20 different sites throughout, yeah. throughout Alabama on that day to raise funds for Children's Hospital, in particular though, though for uh, the uh, diocese units. Uh, you know, it's, it's called, you know, uh, Give Children a Chance, uh, Dashing for Dialysis. And uh, uh, you know, there, there, there are 1,200 youngsters in, uh, in Alabama that uh, required, require uh, some type of renal care, mostly dialysis. And this to Birmingham three days a week, spend four or five hours. It's, you know, a, it's a, a very arduous task for the kids. Uh, uh, but, you know, and out of, out of those 1,200, you know, at least a third are waiting for a transplant you know, for the hope of living, of, of living more, more in the future. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a one mile fun walk uh, and a, a 5K run at Wall State uh, on on October 10th, the morning of the dog show. But I will start earlier. We'll probably end around 9:15 or so, and uh, you know, uh, the each each participant will receive a certificate of appreciation, and uh, uh, each participant will uh, receive a we think it's, we think it's a very att uh, attractive shirt. Uh, and that's uh, fun. Uh, yeah, that's great. And, uh, you know, sure, the hospital in Birmingham is the third largest pediatric hospital uh, in the United States. It is the only hospital in Alabama that cares for pediatric uh, renal problems. They just opened a brand new unit of 20, 20 uh, 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 rooms for, for dialysis. And uh, you know they're they're making a difference, but they need help. And uh, we we kind of think we're that we're kids. I'm an older kid. We're thinking we're, we're kids helping kids. Uh, you know, one thing that Key Club, in your case, Leo Club did, you know, it, it teaches you the need for uh, volunteerism. You know, the need for servant leadership. You know, the, the you know, we we're very very fortunate. You know, uh, that we have nice homes and good family, and we have good food. You know, not everything like that. And when, and when a child is sick. Uh, we have special needs child, and Dr. Bounds and Coleman, you know, said if you can't if you can't find me, uh, don't stop at Coleman, go right to Children's. It's a place. It is a place of miracles, and you know, th this run, I mean, it's very very aff affordable. Uh, the walk is fifteen dollars. Uh, the run is fifteen dollars, or both is twenty five, and uh, we're hoping for a good turnout, especially of younger, you know, the younger, uh, uh, the youth, the young adults. To see the common and help, uh, you know, everyone knows a children's hospital story. Mm -hmm. You know, just just last week I found out that a, a young girl at Holly Pond, uh, sixth grader, and on 911 on Friday uh, had a, 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 a had an attack and they discovered she has acute leukemia, uh -huh. and she is basically fighting for her life. Wow! Right now, and, and so we we're getting, just, we want to be, be there to help. You know, our our little our little sign. Shows uh, children with with the different uh, types of illnesses. Yeah. And uh, uh, every every participant will get the shirt and the certificate, and Hartwell thanks. In the run, uh, will give awards to the first place finishers in seven different age categories, male and female. Uh, Wallace's court, of course, is certified, uh, which you know is which, which means a lot. Yeah. And uh, uh, just uh, you know, we'll start we'll start off uh, working for children, and end up working with dogs. Yeah, 
Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Now, for more information about this, uh, people can call 256-352-2793. And I have, I have, a, I have a, a, a voice message. That's my phone number. Okay. And, you know, we can uh, register you know, up to the event. Okay. Uh, we'll start registration at 8 a.m. on Saturday, October 10th. It's rain or shine. <coughs> hopefully, hopefully, please, Laurel, <laughs> let, it, let it be sunshine. But, I mean, you know, we would love to see, you know, at least 100 runners. Yeah. Uh, you know, from every, every, you know, every school, you know, from churches, and, and you know, just people. We, we had something similar to this a few years ago and did well. Uh, I was kind of sick last year, and we couldn't do it. And then uh, children approached me. You know, we're, we're, um, we're statewide. Uh, Key Club is trying to raise $150,000 for, okay. uh, for the renal unit. We just believe that, uh, you know, that there was, you know, we are children, uh, no, matter, no matter what age, you're only, you're only as old as you feel. Yeah, yeah. And, definitely. Uh, you know, my 67 old body feels like I'm 13, and <laughs> my wife thinks my mind is about eight years old. But uh, uh, it's, 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 a lot, it's a lot of fun, and uh, we just want, want the community to come out, join us, you know, walk a mile, and you know, most people can do it in, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. And then you know the 5K was 3.1 miles. We'll take a little bit longer, and it'll be a little more, a little more arduous, a little, yeah. in a little more better, better shape. And we'll have people out there with water, and we'll have we'll have a um, some uh, physical therapy trainers there in case in case they're needed uh, to just ensure that uh, every you know, every I is dotted and every T is crossed to make sure that we have all of our uh, things taken care of. The back of the shirt. We'll have all the sponsors. And we've, had, we've had a good turnout from you know, local uh, businesses who uh, I've been very, very fortunate to have always supported uh, uh, Key Club and uh, what they stand for. Uh, you know, Coleman is such a special place. It's I've never seen a, a place, place where definitely. people are so caring and giving and, and want to make a difference. So, you know, last year, Children's Hospital saw, had, had, had patients for a combined total of 600 and 67,000 days. And uh, uh, from Coleman County alone, uh, children spent over 5,000 days at Children's Hospital. Wow. And, uh, so how much money do you hope to generate from this? From this well, we're hoping uh, you know, that we can generate $2,000. If we do that statewide, that's $40,000. And it'll be more than a fourth of our goal. You know, okay. and we just got start, started. We did something similar to this when the new hospital uh, opened. Uh, we were invited to be a part of it, and we were the only uh, high school organization. You know, uh, there are a lot of naysayers, or you can't expect teenagers to raise money that much, that much money. You know, everybody knows that teenagers, you know, are drugs and have no no responsibility. <laughs> you know, they care about nothing, and you know, nothing can be more more far than the truth. Yes. You know, uh, uh, you know if there was if there was an arrest at at High Pond for drugs, you know, it'd be on the front page of the paper. Uh, if something good happens, you know, it may be way, way back there, uh, you know, at, at all. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're just uh, a very, uh, you know, with with a comes reader for life for, for cancer and, you know, the their support of March of Dimes and muscular dystrophy and cystic fibrosis. You know, we're, we're children oriented. We, and we, just, we just want, you know, people to, I saw where Cullman was the 10th. Was it was the uh, in the top ten? Top ten. Yeah, uh, uh, see which to live. And uh, I thought I thought ten was a little bit low. I thought we'd leave the zero off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, some definitely. Day, we'll some one. You know, it has uh, Coleman's been voted uh, very much recently in the past few years as being the number one place to raise kids. So okay, but, you know, the um, education system is, is is way up there also. Definitely. I think I think like it's been like it's four been or voted fifth, top uh, ten business friendly cities. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a lot going for it, and you know, a lot of like you mentioned, a lot of our younger kids, the younger generations, are very much into service learning and volunteerism uh, I, and civic leadership. Yeah, you know, my, you know, my favorite movie of all time is It's a Wonderful Life. You know, where, uh, <laughs> we, we, where Mr. Bailey says, yeah, I wish I was never born and got his wish. You know, I can't, I can't see Coleman without, you know, the youth organizations, you know, like yeah. the Blue Hill Club and, and like the uh, Key Club. And I, w I would hate to see what Coleman would be like. If, uh, if we didn't have this caring attitude, this make you know this make a difference uh, attitude, and 
uh, for, for, for Children's Hospital uh, uh, for the past six years has been rated by U.S. News and World Report uh, as one of the top pediatric uh, uh, institutions in uh, in the country, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you know uh, eight different uh, segments of, of a hospital. Right. And you know, you know we all want Alabama to be number one, <laughs> uh, but to me, above that, we want a number one care for children. Yes, we do. Uh, now, right. if if people want just more specific information about the Kiwanis Club here, where can they go to find that? Uh, the, uh, first of all, we invite them to attend the Austic. We meet the Austic uh, every Monday at noon for one hour. Okay. We have a, we have a short program. We have a excellent uh, speakers who come in. And, uh, so every you know, Monday every at Monday. noon at Austic. And, uh, you, you, and you, would get, you would get all the free orange rolls you want. <laughs> oh, those, those things are sinful. They are awesome. They are sinful. But, but, but yeah, that's one way, or give, or give me a call. Uh, uh, also, uh, uh, I'm looking forward to it. October, October the first, uh, I become the state governor of Kiwanis. Uh, wow, and that sounds Coleman's pretty Club exciting. is 96 years old. And I should be the first one from Coleman, and I'm not doing this for me. I'm really doing it for our heritage. Yeah. We've got so many great Kiwanians that have done so much, and uh, you know, for some unknown reason, you know, they, they never chose that office. So for one year, we're going to be quite busy, you know, going all over Alabama for Kiwanis and for Key Club and for Children's Hospital. I speak, I usually speak around 25, 30 weekends uh, a year on behalf of the hospital. That sounds uh, exciting. Now, yes. how many members do the, does the Coleman branch have currently? Uh, uh, the, now, Coleman, the Coleman, uh, the Coleman Kiwanis sponsors uh, Key Clubs at uh, Coleman High School and they've got roughly 85 members okay. uh, we, at, at Fairview. And I'll say they probably got like around 35. Holly Pond's got 35. And Addison has about 35. Okay. Uh, and I say they're very, they're so active. You know, they do so much. You know, Columbus Club is one of the most storied clubs in Alabama. It's had uh -huh. more uh, governors, more international presidents, uh, you know, than any other uh, club in Alabama, for that matter, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the country. Mr. Bob, we are super glad that you came. Oh no, you, I, I, I appreciate. I was afraid that uh, I, I, I had my fingers crossed that <coughs> I would be on the hospital yesterday, and we were discharged around left or nine o'clock last night. We and, are so uh, grateful to have you on the show. Thank oh, you I would, for, I would for being a trooper and, and, and again, coming so on. It's, so October tenth is the two events. Yes. A walk in the morning at, at Wall State, and then the dog show starting at nine at Depot Park. Uh huh. So you know walk and sweat and then listen to a lot of barking and see some very talented. So bring some Tylenol. Some, yeah, <laughs> some no, very, very talented uh, 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 dogs. I mean, you know, many of these have, have won you know, uh, state and national awards. Right. So it will be there. Okay. Well, I'm expecting a huge turnout for you guys. Uh, dogs, number one, are a huge community get together mm -hmm. anyway, mm -hmm. uh, so, especially since they've opened the dog park in Heritage Park. I mean, that's been a big right. pull. Uh, and secondly, uh, with the amount of runners that we have in Coleman, have you should have no, yes. no that's excuse that's, that's for people. That's what we're hoping for. We want this thing to grow. I mean, I want this thing to be. I'm, I'm actually the state chairman of this of this of this event to raise uh, another hundred fifty thousand dollars. And of course, I mean, I want Coleman to lead the pack. Right. You know, to show you know to show the state, you know, hey, hey, we are number one, in you know in, in care. You know, uh, Walmart uh, is a leading contributor in Alabama, uh, uh, big corporations. Gary Queen is the, is the leading leading uh, contributor. Uh, you know, so we have, a, again, we have a lot to offer and you know, yeah. we love kids. I mean, there's, you know, they are our future and uh, without children, we have no future. That's well, very true. With the way Coleman has in the past come together for events, I suspect that you should have well, no thank problems you. Thank with you. Thank you. I mean, they could do a nice article on Austin Coleman Times, mm -hmm. ex explain the event, and uh, you know, we're working, you know, hard to have some, some. Well, we are so proud of you guys. You're doing an awesome job, and we really expect a great turnout. I know Absolutely. I'll be there. So. Thank you so very much. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. And uh, like like we said, you guys can just find information from Melissa at Merchants Bank. You can call the chamber at 256-734-0454. I can give you some more information. You can locate Bob at 256-352-2793. And if you'll stay with us, we'll be right back.
Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Have you been online to see our brand new website? Go to mycolemantv.com. There you can find links to see a live stream, notes from today's shows. You can meet our sponsors and even meet us here at the station. But don't forget about that Meet the Sponsors link. There you can see advertisements from the sponsors that help keep us on the air. You can also click on the links to go to these sponsors' web pages. My Coleman Television. Let's discover Coleman together. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service and we're open on Saturdays. And welcome back. So you know, during that conversation I couldn't help but notice that he stated that this event was also on October 10th. Yeah. Have you realized how many things are going on on that day? Well, it's a big day, you know. I mean, I mean October 10th might be, and I think this should go in some sort of record book, the busiest day in Coleman. It probably would be, yeah. You know, um, it's got a lot going on, so none of us will be bored on that day. Well, we have the Qantas and Key Clubs coming together to do that uh, their event with the run and the dog show. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, the Hope for Horses doing their event that day. We've got parts of Oktoberfest starting up around those times. It's it's literally going to run us ragged trying to cover everything that yeah, we could possibly it's talk be so about. Yeah, it's going to so much fun though. Uh, it will be fun, and I'm excited. Uh, I love it when there's that many things to do in Coleman because there's well, number one, there's no excuse to be bored at that point. Yes. So if you have children that state they're bored, you can either make them do push-ups like my father did, or you can take them to one of these awesome events that's going on. Uh, there's just tons of awesome options to go for, so I'm excited to see how all of these turn out. Hopefully no one gets hurt at any of them. Cause no, that's no, no, it'll, I think it'll be fine. Um, they, you know, they're all pretty safe and um, responsible, but it will be fun, you know, to get out in the community while, you know, like we've been talking about, the fall weather is going to be great, and there's mm. definitely no reason to be bored. Absolutely. So pack those long sleeves and get out there and do something, because you always want to have fun in Coleman, because Coleman is the place to do that. Mm -hmm. Just in personal opinion. <laughs> all righty. Well, you know, guys, uh, we talked earlier in the day, and I told you that there's some awesome prizes we wanted to give you. Well, those prizes are still available to you, so I'm going to help you out a little bit. And the off chance you have not been able to get to Facebook and check out who our sponsors the day is. I'm going to help you just a little bit by giving you a hint that might give you an idea of who the sponsor of the day is or if anything might intrigue you enough to want to check the Facebook page and find out who that sponsor of the day is. So your hint for today is which one of our sponsors is a Chevrolet car dealership? Which one of our sponsors is a Chevrolet car dealership? Now there's only one so you guys should know what this is without even having to look it up but in the off chance you don't know <laughs> check that Facebook page find out and call us at 256-734-7399 Again, that's 256-734-7399. Call us, let us know, and win those great prizes I mentioned earlier. And now it's time for our Facebook friend of the day, and our Facebook friend of the day is Ori Dwayne Hampton, and he likes Ignite Student Ministries and the Mobile Bay Bears. We would like to give Mr. Hampton a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue for being our friend on Facebook. Love those friends on Facebook. Uh, yeah. I, I like seeing the photos because they're either very canon and I appreciate those kind or they're purposely weird and those are the best. Yes, they are. And try saying Mobile Bay Bears like 10 times fast. 
Someone out there just did. Someone out there has attempted it the moment you said it, and I honestly, if you can do it 10 times real fast, let us know. Or film yourself and put it on our Facebook page. We'd love to see <laughs> yes, those over and over again. That'd be the best. All righty. Uh, so, you know, we, we've been doing something every day, and I love doing this because I really feel like there's a lot of businesses in Coleman that deserve more credit and more attention than they get every day. Uh, and there's a lot of businesses within Coleman that a lot of people are unaware of. But today is not one of those days. We are covering one of the more uh, renowned businesses here in Coleman in terms of that. And we are covering AJ's Steakhouse for our Discover Coleman today. Now, AJ's Steakhouse is a place that uh, has some family value to me. I've had a lot of relatives work there over the years. Uh, I've got a lot of friends that are still working there now. Uh, it's a wonderful steakhouse if you've never been. It's one of those places that you can go with your family. But they do more than just steak. I think that's a lot of things that people don't realize is that the AJ Steakhouse has a huge selection of menu items uh, ranging from seafood all the way down to just a chicken sandwich if that's what you want. They do have a great uh, variety salad bar. Uh, they're, just, they're just an overround good place to eat. Great pricing. You go, you sit down. It's got a great atmosphere. They're usually pretty quick about getting you seated. It's, it's a great place. I love AJ's. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Um, it's got a fantastic salad bar to me. I love uh, their salad bar. I usually go by there at least every other week and just get one to go. And it's affordable. It's enjoyable. Um, they have the option of getting um, several different types of seasoning on, like, your chicken or steak. So um, that's pretty fun, too, to just kind of, like, change up the flavors. And they're very accommodating. Um, and I feel like it maybe often gets maybe overlooked because of other places around town. Um, so if you haven't, like if you were new to the area, such as I was probably just 12 or so years ago, then, um, you know, I didn't hear about AJ Steakhouse until last year. It's just, I feel like it may often get overlooked. So I definitely think it's a wonderful place to eat. And where is it located exactly? Well, they're actually located on Highway 31. Uh, now, their slogan is, you know, Coleman's Whole Grove Steakhouse, because it is. And here's a little fun fact for everyone. If you weren't aware, AJ's is actually named after the owner's daughter. Oh, okay. Uh, AJ was, uh, and she's, she's still around. She's still doing all of her little childish antics, you know, that she could. She's out there pretty often, or was the last time I was out there. Her photo is posted right there next to the register so you can see her. Uh, and she, I believe she does pageants. She's, she's adorable. She's, she is adorable. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but they are, they are a wonderful location. Uh, they're open Tuesday through Sunday, 11 and 9. Mm -hmm. uh, they do wonderful lunches at a reasonable price, and then they do a prorated dinner price. Uh, but the, here's something that people don't realize about them. They actually uh, have great appetizers that people aren't. And now they have some of their average ones that you see at a lot of restaurants, but some of their appetizers are actually specific to that location. They're fantastic. Uh, definitely worth it if you're sitting down with the family there for the first time and want something to start a good conversation. If you have nothing else to talk about, order an appetizer and watch the other person's face <laughs> and then talk about it. I'm, I promise you it will open somebody right up. Fried yeah. pickles are the best. Yeah, so just for example, if you don't know about their appetizers, they do have a variety of them, um, including fried pickles, cheese sticks, jalapeno poppers, and more. And they do have an excellent steak called the Del Monaco. Mm -hmm. um, you, you even get a beef kebab with bell peppers, onions, and more. Yep. There's there's a ton of options there at AJ's, so you never you never want to miss an opportunity to go out there. Mm -hmm. If you need a good place to meet, you need a good place to get the family together Sunday afternoons, absolutely. Take them out there. You will not regret it. Uh, just, yeah. And if you see anybody that you know, which you will, uh, make sure that you, you treat them to something nice because <laughs> AJ's is one of those places that you can, you can afford to do that. So. Alrighty, so again, you know, uh, if you have any questions or comments or if you would like to contact them to find out more about them, you can reach them at 256-775-1653. Uh, they're always open to your questions and you can make reservations in advance. So definitely check those guys out. You, you don't want to miss an opportunity. Alrighty, well now is the part of the show that is now my second favorite behind the Discover Coleman and that is the part where I get to talk about the weather. So let's take a look at that today. <laughs> and again, that is brought to you by Mitch Mitch Chevrolet. So make the switch to Mitch. Wink, wink. <laughs> Alrighty, looks like the average high today is, or the average high for the today is 82 degrees with the average low at 60 degrees. Uh, the record high was set in uh, 1931 at 103 with the record low set in 1913 at 40. Sunset tonight is going to be at 641 with sunrise tomorrow at 635 a.m. All right, now as you can tell over the last <coughs> few days we've had some showers going on throughout the, uh, the state here. As you can tell today we're looking a little clear. So as you can tell we've got a 20% chance of rain again because some of those showers are still moving through. But we've got a high of 84 with a low of 62 tonight with a 20% chance of rain. And then a high of 84 tomorrow with a 10% chance of rain. So those rain chances are dwindling off there. 
Uh, we're looking at upper 70s, a few few lower 70s depending on cloud coverage, but upper 70s to the low 80s for a high and then low 60s for our lows at night. Uh, so we are hitting those cooler weather spells still. Uh, a couple of days worth of cloudy weather, higher chances of rain here and there, but we are looking at moderate weather here. So I'm excited. Uh, Going to keep it relatively dry throughout the week, maybe a little chilly on some days, so definitely start packing those longer sleeves. But don't get too excited just, just yet. Don't Again, don't break out your Michelin man coat and sweat to death. <laughs> Nobody wants that. But uh, we're, I'm you know, starting to adjust to that colder weather. Uh, I'm going to start having to run soon, so maybe that'll keep me from falling over of a heat stroke. <laughs> Yeah, let's you know. hope so. Yeah, either way, yeah, don't, if you read about me in the obituaries, you know why, it's because I attempted to run. Don't say that. Well, you know, it's it's just a forewarning, you know, don't run me over, please. <laughs> All right, well, if you'll stay tuned with this, we will be back in just a moment, so don't go away. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. And we are back with our community billboard sponsored by Pepsi. Don't miss out on St. Paul's Lutheran School's Oktoberfest meal happening Saturday, October 10th. And that time will be from 4 to 7 and the cost is $10 for adults and there will be a $5 children's menu. And the candlelight walking tours are going to be October 5th and October 6th. These are guided tours through downtown Coleman. They begin at the Coleman County Museum and Fest Hall Market Plots. For more information, visit ColemanOctoberfest.com. And don't miss out on Horsin' Around for Hope. That is going to be Saturday, October 10th as well. And it will be $20. It will start at 9 a.m. This features live music, a mechanical bull, a petting zoo, games, food, live auction, and bounce houses. It is a free event. 100% of proceeds goes to benefit Hope Horses. And Ms. Catherine Morgan invites you to come visit her to find out how you can get insurance discounts up to 40%. Now she is with State Farm, so for more information, call 256-734-4640 and check her out on Facebook. And if you have a community billboard, you can always give us a call and let us know. You can reach us online at mycolemantv.com or send us an email at mycolemantv at gmail.com or give us a call at 256-734-7399. And don't forget to like us on Facebook at Television. And again, we are sponsored by Pepsi. And wishing you a happy birthday today, Sarah Gorley, Landon Reynolds, and Austin Bailey. Don't forget on Friday we will be doing that weekly drawing and our winner will receive an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. We will also be drawing for the anniversary on Friday, so send us your anniversaries. That couple will receive a $15 gift certificate from the Candle Garden. And if you did not already know, multiple times today, uh, our sponsor of the day was indeed Mitch Smith Chevrolet. So again, make the switch to Mitch. You won't regret it, guys. Don't make that big mistake. Find car people that you know you can trust. Alrighty, guys. And remember to like us on Facebook. I can't stress this to you enough. We ask you that every day. 
But again, the Facebook is very important to us. So like a nosy mother-in-law, we want to know what's going on. So let us know through that. <laughs> we want to know what's happening. You know, we, we have to know how things are going in the community. And if we missed any events, we want to know about it. So that's why the Facebook is important. Let us know what's going on so we can keep and let you know what you want to know. All right, so I think we had a great day. Um, we did, yeah. And you know what? We actually have a really fun guest tomorrow as well. Um, we do. Mr. Bob Palace, he's always wonderful, but uh, we have Ron Siebold, he's from the Community Lions Club, we'll have him with us tomorrow. He's going to be talking about a really cool event that they have coming up, mm -hmm. so uh, we look forward to hearing from him. Absolutely. Uh, always excited to talk with people in the community members uh, from organizations that love to give back. Yes. So, you know, great to go talk to them and see what else that we can get our hands into in the community. Uh-huh. I'm excited, yeah. As am I. Uh, so, you know, we're going to have a great day. It's Wednesday. Yes. Uh, we're both a little more awake. Mm -hmm. uh, ready to jump out there and get into the day. Yes. Uh, see how we can see how we can fare. Uh, so again, I'm Jacob Murphy. I'm Natalie Bonner. And again, everyone here at My Coleman Television hopes you have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll see you first thing in the morning. Have a great day.